very good evening friends meeting in the session of materia medica we have finished the aurum metallicum a big polycrest and we have discussed it up to three lectures from the allen's keynotes today we will going to start new remedy from the third year syllabus and a very important remedy again in the practice that is the barata carbonica barium carbonate two different ends earlier lecture we have discussed the aurum metallicum exactly opposite to the barata cup and that's why two different poles which we will going to learn in today's session it's too important to understand all those details and that's why i will going to tell you few cases in fact two cases from my practice barata very common in our day to day practice because there are many cases which we used to get with such a things where allopathy don't have an answer dwarfism cases are day by day increasing in our homeopathic practice and there is no answer in allopathy we have ample remedies one of them is barataka i will going to share first case a 5 years old child a dwarf child brought to me with enlarged tonsils and adenoids tonsils were enlarged hypertrophied big kissing each other as if there is no entry inside the throat or in the pharynx they are just touching each other they are very close to each other they are not so painful but while in swallowing the solids it used to pain it used to hurt in fact and the mother of the child said whenever he used to take anything cold he used to suffer from it doctor told that he should be operated for tonsils as well as adenoids but we know that homeopathy there are medicines for both the things so we we want to try homeopathy first doctor one thing i want to tell you since last one and a half years the snoring has been too much increased he snores too much that is the big problem for us at present it is as if a old person is snoring he snores like that then he explained then she explained about her child that there are few things i want to discuss we have put him in senior kg now i used to teach him i used to taught him many things he listens he understands he says everything behind me but when next day i used to ask he forgets everything next day i want to start again right from the start and again everything should be taught and he never recollects he is very very weak in his memory doctor that is big problem for him second important thing in the school he never gets easily mixed with the children he remains aloof generally very occasionally there is only one friend with whom he is comfortable otherwise he is not comfortable then one more thing which she has explained that he he is having very offensive sweating from the feet we used he used to use the socks and the socks are were having a very offensive odor every day we have to wash and every day we have to use the new pair of wash socks so is there any answer in homeopathy and when i was looking towards him he was just looking down he was very occasionally he used to look like this or many times he has done like this this is very typical with the barattas barattas are very shy barattas are very timid barattas are very slow learners 
they are having weak memories they never understand things very easily and most important thing in baratta which you can look for is the stunted growth dwarf so all those characteristics which were which were visible in front of me along with big characteristic that hypertrophy tonsil in enlarged adenoids baratta is the best solution it is too important to judge a remedy when you get such types of case so i was sure that this is baratta only thing is that how much potency and how much repetition baratta as a remedy is slow in action it requires repetition i have started baratta cup 30 tds for 10 days ask them to meet me after 10 days and child was brought and he was very good in fact most important change which i have observed that he was he was not looking down that was the first thing which i have catched second important thing which was there that his tonsils little bit regressed but he never complained that there is difficulty in swallowing there were no pains that is more important for him third important thing which she has explained her his mother that his snoring is little bit less so it means medicine is acting very nicely i have continued with baratta gradually increased the potency 200 then after 200 i have not repeated so much i have given it for a day or two then kept him on placebo then again after 2 to 3 months 1m and up to 10m i have reached and during that whole process between 6 months to 7 months the tonsils has regressed in size i was able to look towards the opening over there in the pharynx which was not visible in the first consultation so this remedy is a very important children's remedy where there is a there are hypertrophy tonsils associated many times with quinsy associated with adenoids difficulty in swallowing solids liquids are better and the whole struck whole mental state constitution of the baratta then you should give the baratta and baratta boric has very clearly said baratta ka bhi slow in action bears the repetition and keep it in your mind baratta is always 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 should be repeated you go on repeating and then you will find baratta produces its action many people's never understand those hints or many people's read the remedy only before the relationship my suggestion is that always open read the whole remedy many times in the remedy relationship you get the many hints second important thing in the dose you get certain hints but that is that is what has explained by bori for there and i have tried it many times in the similar manner and it works so this is first case and second case was exactly opposite old old man he was 65 but he was looking 75 he was just 60 65 but he was look very very weak slow dull there was a hardness of hearing i asked what's your name he he looked like me as if he has never understood and it was really he never understood what i was then he, the accompanying person said doctor you have to talk loudly then he understand so during whole case taking i have to talk very loudly to listen to him so this was the case of the enlarged prostate so senile enlargement of the prostate was there along with a childish behavior this fellow when i asked certain question he used to laugh it was interesting i used to ask the question seriously he used to laugh like child when he understand the question he used to laugh i asked what is your name <laughs> he started like this this is childish behavior which you can you have to catch and that was interesting 
so childish behavior was the the third important thing was there she was very very forgetful there is the senile dementia which happened very early in the age of 65 the accompanying person said sir he forgets everything he forgets even the while walking he forgets the streets we have to keep a watch on him then there was one more thing which was marked he was uh, one allopathic treatment for hypertension since long time and he used to get the palpitation and he said when i asked when do you get palpitation he said whenever i lie on left side i used to get the more more and more palpitation it hurts me so see these are very important things which he has mentioned he was very timid very slow in action very slow in comprehension hardness of hearing the senile dementia and enlarged prostate barataka is a very important remedy for the prostate enlargement senile prostate enlargement because here again action on glands and hypertrophy basically the barataka is psychosyphilitic in action so psychotic dominance hypertrophy is always related with the psychotic dominance proliferation and that's why barata covers it again the same thing i have repeated the barata cup in in that fellow i have given same potency 30 in repeated doses and good change was observed in him it worked gradually it take it took nearly about 7 8 months to recover from whole process but his his recovery gradual but persistent was there the hardness of hearing also decreased second important thing that he he is able to converse very easily later on the childishness disappeared the prostatic enlargement has reduced we have done the sonography before starting treatment and after 6 months it has reduced in size his he used to wake up at night four to five times at a night for urination urging was there because of the prostatic enlargement it has decreased he used to wake up one or two times at a night that was a very good indication so this is a wonderful remedy which affects or acts on both poles childhood and old age this is a wonderful remedy one has to learn so we'll start with the allen's keynotes we'll understand the, all the basics it, it might take two lectures to learn this remedy so today and tomorrow we'll going to learn the barata cup so open your allen's keynotes page number 56 barata carbonica barium carbonate barium bso3 specially adapted to the complaints of first and second childhood and the soric and tubercular the soric miasm as allen has mentioned but it has psychotic dominance in fact psycho tubercular or you can say psycho syphilitic also glandular affections covers the tubercular tendency but more psychotic because hypertrophy is very characteristic and second important thing dwarfism itself is the characteristic feature of the psychotic miasm and that's why miasmatic focus even though allen has mentioned it is soric and or tubercular i will suggest that you can consider it psycho tubercular or psycho syphilitic more mark memory is deficient it given in italics has a meaning so they used to forget the things very easily senile dementia wonderful remedy childhood dementia wonderful remedy the children used to forget whatever they have been taught forgetful inattentive they cannot concentrate their main complaint from the teachers is that they are they cannot concentrate they cannot look towards the whenever i am teaching so this is very important thing madhu has asked it requires repetition means how many days we should continue depends upon situation till the patient's recovery starts you can repeat for even month also no problem but it never requires you give it 15 days and it works 
after once 30 has acted then 200 you don't have to repeat so much 200 one or two days sufficient forgetful inattentive child cannot be taught for it cannot be remember see this is very important sentence there is problem in learning dyslexia they cannot be taught because they forgets everything the mother's complaint is that doctor every time i have to start right from the beginning the problem is there he forgets everything what to do is there any homeopathic medicine and we used to say yes there is but don't tell the name this is more important don't you are not getting the voice is it are I you getting, getting sir yes so most important thing is that this is one important remedy for children where there is a difficulty in comprehension and a memory both the things threatened idiocy threatened means it is going towards the idiocy and idiocy it is very important remedy for don't forget this remedy it is wonderful remedy in idiocy one child absolutely dropped brought to me she was just 7 8 years but when she first time brought to me she never looked towards me the whole consulting she was looking like this she was looking like this absolutely keeping the head down absolute no not at all one time she raised the head not at all i used to i have asked many questions nothing nothing word her parents tried her level bit even they are they have um, tried to tilt her head but she never agreed she started weeping so much of fear of strangers is there they are so shy they never likes to look up and we have started with baratta for her and wonderfully all her complaints gradually settled she used to second everyone who is there whether they are patients whether they are my assistants whether they are medical dispensers everyone she used to second before going to that was the change from absolutely timid to get the some confidence that is the baratta baratta is very important in such types of children scrofulous scrofulous means glandular affections typical all varieties of glands it is not only tonsils it is not only prostate the cervical lymphadenopathy even occipital lymph nodes which are enlarged in this dwarfish children who do not grow this is very important slow in growth with tonsillar hypertrophy think of baratta first patient complaint doctor there is stunted growth shall we remove the tonsil because there is a Uh, there are there is a one myth that if you remove the tonsil the height grows it is it is many many times i have listened it from the patient my suggestion is that give the baratta and height grows so the, the, you you have to change their thoughts tonsillectomy is not an answer so you you must have your own remedies scrofulous don't pick children who do not grow children who grow too rapidly is calcarean exactly opposite growth is very fast growth is very fast they becomes very fat very tall that is calcarean calcarean and barrett are looks closer many times there is confusion sometimes you feel that patient might be calcarea patient might be baratta you you very difficult in uh, differentiation because both contain the carbon and carbon's dominance is there on baratta also carbon's dominance is there with the calcarea also but in baratta it is more dwarfishness which you can catch the calcarea it is not so at the physical structure level second important difference is that calcarea is better in understanding and comprehension as compared to the baratta so you have to understand 
those minute differences and you have to converse with the patient then you can catch it very easily the sweating more profuse sweating at the head is characteristic of more of a calcarea than barata scrofulous ophthalmia so ophthalmia associated with glandular affections scrofulous ophthalmia infective focus cornea is opaque opaque cornea corneal opacity i have told you the remedy the silica silicia is again very close to the barata cap silicia is one more remedy one should not forget yesterday i have told you that silicia it has been written by borig that use 30th for months silicia 30 for what the corneal opacity there is a there was one question how to elicit level of understanding of the remedy during the case taking you have to understand level of level of understanding of the remedy or level of understanding of the patient because level of understanding the remedy is different and level of understanding the patient is different patient you can talk you can converse barata will not going to give you answer calcarea tries to give the answer or otherwise they look towards their parents barata are more shy than the calcarea calcarea gets family once you calcarea gets familiar they answers your question barata never there is big fear of strangers with baratas even calcareas are there but calcareas are rather comparatively less scrofulous ophthalmia cornea is opaque abdomen is swollen swollen abdomen a big abdomen swollen abdomen sometimes mesentery glands are increased in barata cap frequent attacks of colic there is recurrent colic and recurrent colic associated with mesenteric lymphadenopathy think of this remedy if the stunted growth is there most important word never forget the dwarfed whatever may be the complaints particulars associated with dwarfism always think of barata first frequent attacks of colic face is blotted blotted means suzlela it is full of fluid bloated it comes up full of bloated and general emaciation which is opposite to the calcarea cap calcarea we know calcarea is more fat fair flabby barata are emaciated see opposite there is a problem even though carbon is present generally they are emaciated emaciation reason is that the they cannot swallow the solids properly many times hypertrophic tonsils that is one of the important feature so it is too important to understand this children both physically and mentally weak and that is true characteristic of the barat they are physically weak at the same time mentally weak mentally weak means they are imbecile imbecility means mano darbalya they are not confident about their mind they cannot take decisions whenever you ask anything they look towards their parent they, they never take decision if you ask them yes whether you will going to do that or i want to ask my father my that they, they are indecisive baratas are very very indecisive so mentally and physically they are weak and dwarfish that is the one word which one should not forget hysterical women and old maids with scanty menses hysteria is again one more feature over there that hysteria is secondary to the idios they never understand what is going on unaware and because of which many times they become hysterical hysterical or we find that they might be hysterical but they are not getting understood properly old maids old maids means those who are old in a house scanty menses deficient heat always cold and chilly there is lack of vital heat there always looks chilly 
they never gets that vital heat and that's why they are very 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 slow if vital heat is there the slowness never comes they then they then the remedy is like the lacasis the naxomica you get the vivaciousness because because there is a not at all the coldness of the body such a coldness where the body doesn't have a strain so much of weakness it is not there this is the remedy where this specific problem is there so this is what he is explaining regarding this remedy we have learned certain aspects about it the constitution how it is still the certain things which are mentioned regarding the old men but that will learn in tomorrow session because it is it is a remedy one has to understand it properly this is too important once you understand the core of baratta then you can prescribe the baratta many times and may, it is very useful remedy because senile problems are much more with which the patient approaches towards you the children that is the in fact big big volume in your opd are children and this remedy one has to learn by heart so i think it is better to stop over here and tomorrow we will continue with it maybe tomorrow we will going to finish this remedy this remedy is a deep acting remedy even though deep acting it bears reputation its action nearly about 40 days and there is a one complementary to this remedy is dalkamara dalkamara complements the baratta so this is a very important remedy one has to understand we have finished certain aspects in today's lecture tomorrow we will going to learn the another point prasad kulkarni has asked yes sir can we give it in young adult says yes, you can it's not like that that it should not be it it if the if the symptoms matches if the state matches if the constitution matches baratta can be given in young adults it is not like that but specific sphere of action is children and old age if a child is there who used to grow and he used to come to you at the age of adolescence still he is baratta if he is baratta in childhood and if he had a, if he has not treated with the baratta cup then he remains the baratta and that's why it is not like that but sphere of action we can define on the basis of that so any other query yes poonam sir if huh? In, in case it's like tonsillitis can we give the higher potency uh, yes you can but if it should be matched very perfectly yes you can give even baratta cup 200 baratta cup 1m but my suggestion towards this this specific remedy better to start with low and go ahead it is better and baratta even in 30 it acts yes prasuna sir if in case of if the patient susceptibility is bit high and we are bound to give 200 initially shall that be repeated sir initially yeah yeah 3 4 days at least yes. at least for 3 4 days okay sir. any other query question so there was one question in acute like tonsillitis can we use it in higher potency yes sure definitely you can if it is matching perfectly yes you can go for high baratta cup 1m you can give a repetition for at least 2 3 days you can so that's all for today thank you being there and ask your friends to join this is a platform to learn uh, practical clinical matra medica and we'll discuss many remedies which are useful in our day to day practice so thanks a lot we'll meet tomorrow at the same time with matra medica and at 5:45 with the philosophy session stuart close philosophy for the students my suggestion don't miss the lecture of philosophy thank you good night